I have to say, I'm really disappointed with the result of this survey of our user community. I really thought we turned a corner and were doing a better job. But they're not nearly as satisfied as we all would like. You're not the only one. The staff is frustrated, too. You know, I think we all feel that we're improving things at this library, especially since the last survey. But I'm looking at some of the comments here, and I just don't know how to satisfy all of them. They want us to be open for longer hours, more internet bandwidth. There's a few requests here to open a coffee shop. Well, just the other day, a patron asked why he couldn't just check out books online and have them delivered to his house. I can see why he would want that, but I don't know why they think services like that would be practical for us. Well, all of these things take money and space and personnel, and we just don't have a lot of assets to spare right now. People can get their information anywhere these days. It's competitive, and consumer expectations are definitely heightened. Well, not to mention they still want all of the traditional library services at the same time. What is our role in the community? Are we supposed to be librarians and personal valets at the same time? You know, you might have a really good point there. I think there's an important fact we're overlooking here. Something that we may need to pay more attention to. What's that? We're still operating on the assumption that the people in our community will be satisfied with a fairly traditional library perception of good service. Be nice, friendly, have the books they want, get the one we don't have, answer homework questions, all that and more. But it might not be enough. What's wrong with being nice? I thought that's what people expected. Being nice is great, but people's expectations for services are changing, and the trend is for the bar to be raised quite a bit. Think about your own desires as a customer in other settings. Has any other service done anything that really stands out? Well, I stop at this coffee place on my way to work. They know my name, they remember my specialty drink, they email me special offers, <laughs> and they even gave me free merchandise on my last birthday. I have to say, I could stop at a few other places, ones with cheaper coffee, or even drink the mud we have here in the staff room. But I really like the experience I get there. It makes me feel special. By giving you an experience, they've raised your expectations. Oh, definitely. That's the factor we're not paying attention to. So many of our community members are more accustomed to a user experience. And if they don't get it here, we are delivering on their expectations. But you agree we're friendly and helpful. In the context of what we do, I think we provide great customer service. It goes beyond customer service. Sure, users get good service, but we don't pay much attention to the totality of the experience people get here. It's not just transactions at desks. It's the website, the catalog interface, getting helped in the stacks, all of it. It all has to be connected into delivering the experience we designed for our users. It makes a lot of sense, but where do we go from here? If we can create a better user experience, we might just see better results the next time we survey our patrons. And we've got to make what we do more meaningful to them. In theory, that sounds great. But how exactly do we do that? <laughs>